Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Kaushal and today I will give you an introduction about DOM. I will run you through the basics of document object model. By the end of this tutorial, you will have an idea about how JavaScript works when embedded with HTML and CSS. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start this video with the introduction to DOM. DOM stands for Document Object Model. It is an API for HTML and XML documents, which helps JavaScript to understand what is there written inside the HTML document. API stands for Application Programming Interface. To understand API better, let's take an example of a restaurant. Imagine yourself in the restaurant. You are sitting at the table with the menu. The chef in the kitchen is also part of the system. The waiter here works as a messenger between you and the chef. That's what API does. It works as a moderator between JavaScript and the HTML document. DOM defines the whole HTML document in a hierarchical form to make it understandable for JavaScript so that other JavaScript functions can work over it. It represents the entire document in the form of object and nodes. Whether it be elements or text or anything stored in the document, the entire page content can be accessed or manipulated by JavaScript. DOM is not used with JavaScript only. Other languages like Python also uses DOM. DOM was designed to be used independently. To begin with DOM, there is nothing special you have to do. Different browsers have different implementation of the document object model. Every browser uses DOM to make the web page of the document accessible by JavaScript. Let's move on and see what is document object model with the help of an example. I believe you guys have the basic knowledge of HTML and CSS, a prerequisite for this course. Let's start things off with a basic HTML example. Here we have a code that consists tags like HTML, head, body, heading tag, etc. We have the HTML tag here, the opening HTML tag and the closing HTML tag. Inside the HTML tag, we have the head tag, which contains the document's header part. Inside the head tag, there is a title tag that contains the title of the web page. Then comes the body tag, which contains a heading tag and two div tags with IDs as div1 and div2. A div tag defines a particular section in the HTML document. The ID used within the div tag, it is an attribute basically, that has to be unique within the document to make the element unique from other elements. Next up, we have a paragraph tag with a class attribute within it. CSS and JavaScript uses classes to select and access specific elements. Don't worry guys if you have no idea about it. Let us first see the output of this code before going to the document object model of this whole document. So guys, this is the output of the previous code we just came through. Here we can see the title of the web page as well as heading after it. There were two different div tags used in the code. Here is the output of both the div tags. The question here is where are those id and class attributes seen in the output? The answer to this question is there is nothing on this web page that can show both of them. We can use them in our CSS file or through JavaScript to specify the containers in which they are used. So we have concluded how a normal document works and how the browser interprets the HTML code. But how JavaScript uses this code is a bit different. That's where DOM comes into play. When the actual HTML document is loaded in the browser, another representation of that document is created, known as document object model. Here's the model you can see on your screen. Each of the tags used in HTML document is correspondingly represented as objects in the DOM. Like starting from the HTML tag and covering all the other tags like head, title, body and few more. The same hierarchy as there was in the HTML document goes with the document object model also. Document object model is simply the same HTML document with different representation. The reason behind this different representation is that it's easy for JavaScript to interpret this format. JavaScript can't understand tags, but it can understand these objects. JavaScript can easily manipulate these objects using different functions, which we will see in future while working on these functions. 
For example, if you want to access the text present inside the heading tag, you can do it by accessing the heading tag with JavaScript. You can also work on the style of this text with the help of JavaScript as well. JavaScript uses the concept of nodes. It can access nodes of the document object model. There are many types of nodes present in the DOM. The basic three types are element node, attribute node and text node. The element node consists of all the tags used in HTML document like the head tag and the body tag. The attribute node contains the attributes used in HTML document. By now, I hope you have understood the concept of attributes. So JavaScript can access these attributes as well and the user can work upon them as per requirements. The text here in the HTML document that is simply. It can also be accessed with the help of JavaScript. It is the value of that particular element. That's all for this video. See you in the next one where I'll show you how to install a text editor. For this particular course, we will be using Visual Studio Code. I will run you through the installation process as well. If this video helped you anyhow, do give it a like, comment your doubts, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.